Okay, rule nine. So I'm doing the Twitter and the Instagram and I have a gazillion Facebook friends like we all do. And I realize that when it comes to value, when it comes to offering a service or selling something or being in business, at the end of the day, regardless of followers, regardless of hashtags, regardless of who's a disruptor, who's a catalyst, who's a name your buzzword, it comes down to two things. Are you offering real things of real value? That's it. Case in point, plenty of millionaires out there, plenty of successful people in business who we don't know who they are or what they do. And, and to me, I think that's super cool, which goes back to it's bigger than you and you can play as big as you want, but that's super cool that there's all these millions of people who don't have a Twitter account, all these millions of people who don't do Facebook or they have like the husband-wife Facebook, but that's a whole other set of rules that I'll get into later. And they kill it. They kill it from a business perspective. They kill it probably from a family connection perspective too, but they don't need all that pomp and circumstance. They don't need big words or hashtags or buzzwords or what's trending. It's just like, I'm an accountant and I'm really good at it. And you won't be broke if you go with me. That's real, that's value. I'm a lawyer. If you get sued, I, I can save your home. That's real. I am a contractor. I can build a home. I can build your dream house. I don't know, $300,000 under budget than the next guy. Real things, real value. And that's, well, I'm gonna hashtag it, but that's just how I play. But you don't need to have all this pomp and circumstance to offer something real with value that someone will be happy to employ you for or with.